Hey everyone, GoBotch here, back today with a brand new post-game show episode for Madden 20 franchise with the Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl champions. Dallas Cowboys of Super Bowl 54 get it done 27 to 13 against the New England Patriots as we get a revenge win, even though Brady didn't get to play, but a quarter and a half. So the Cowboys outgained them 335 to 290. We outrushed them 180 to 138 and outpassed them 155 to 152. Both teams had 19 first downs. We had two picks or two turnovers. They had none. Uh, so they won in that category. But time of possession, we outdid them by four minutes. It was a pretty, uh, I would say, a pretty normal game overall. Not a ton of craziness happened. It was a pretty by-the-numbers game. But Brady, while he was in, was excellent. He was 11 of 14, no touchdowns for him. But he went down with that injury and left the game. And that then his backup, Jarrett Stidman had, Stidham, had to come in there out of Auburn. And uh, he did he did the best he could. He was 13 to 24, uh, but no touchdowns, no, no picks, and not even 100 yards. Couldn't get the job done. But Dak Prescott 182 through the air, touchdown and a pick. Sacked five times, was 15 to 24. Uh, did a job enough to get the get the job done with the Cowboy win. But Zeke Elliott 24 carries, 118 yards, no touchdowns. Sony Michelle 13 carries, 75 yards and a touchdown. And James White, before he left in the injury, was 7-55. and 55. So they did a good job running the football. But Pollard, the MVP of the game, 9 carries, 42 yards, and 2 touchdowns for Dallas. And that was the big difference here for the Dallas Cowboys and the Super Bowl victory. Witten led the way, receiving 7 catches, 106 yards, uh, followed by Demarius Thomas with 5-58. and 58. Randall Cobb at 4 for 43. Uh, Cooper, again, had an injury in the first half, but he did have two catches, 25 yards, and one touchdown that opened up the scoring for the Cowboys. So that was the way all that shaked out, y'all. Again, it was a tremendous season. Um, but now, y'all, we're going to get ready for off-season period here on the channel. So we're not going to do the off-season in this video right here and right now. We'll bring an off-season video later uh, probably tomorrow, maybe Sunday. We'll see. I'm not quite sure just yet, but stay tuned for that coming up very, very soon. So we got some upgrades here. Vander Esch, uh, we're going to get his pass coverage a little bit better. 90 overall now, man. Love seeing that. Uh, Collins is getting another upgrade. We're going to get him a little bit better now. And then we're going to make him a bit more agile as a right tackle. It makes me good to see it. And Shane Ray, again, a key acquisition for us, getting him coming in as a free agent. He's coming. He's done a great job for us. And uh, he gets a little bit of an upgrade as well. So here we are, y'all. We are in player negotiations with our team. Again, we've pretty much done this all the way we wanted to. Shane Ray is the guy that I'm considering to bring back in. Um, but not completely sure I want to personally. Because um, he's wanting... Here, here's the issue. We have not a lot of cap room. Uh, right now... We have $171,000 remaining if we do sign Shane Ray. So as as good as he did it for us, I'm not going to bring him back in this year. Um, and we're going to let these guys all walk off as well. So bye-bye Gathers, bye-bye uh, Darian Thompson, Joe Thomas, Joe Looney, uh, Kerry Hyder Jr., I, uh, Iloka, um, Woods, Mike White and company, they're all going bye-bye for the Cowboys. And here's what that means. So looking right now at our depth chart for the Cowboys, we're looking at our depth chart now here. That means at QB, we're going to be without a backup. And what I'm probably going to do is either sign somebody at the beginning of next season that's cheap, that's a decent backup, or in free agency possibly as a backup, or just draft a late round pick that we could develop outside of Mike White because I just, I just I can't get it behind him, man. I don't like him very much. Um, running back wise, we're set. We're good. Fullback will be okay right there. Receiver, we're set. We're locked in where we need to be receiver-wise. Tight end, uh, again, Jason Witten told us straight up he's testing free agency. He's done with the Cowboys. So Jarwin is signed on, and Dalton Schultz, I believe, is as well. Uh, so that's what we got right there. We're looking at possibly adding in a spot from the draft there. Uh, Tyron Smith is good and Fleming. So... Again, we're going to go actually position, position by position here and look at salaries and see who we're all missing. So, again, bye-bye, White. Let's go ahead to the offensive line here. So, we only have one left tackle. That's a position we need to draft for a backup position behind Tyrone Smith because after he's done with his career, again, he's he's good through 2023. But after that, man, we may we got we to prep and be, be having somebody behind him. Uh, left guard, we are locked in there with two more 
years, both with Daniels and with Williams. We'll see if we will try to move Williams out as he is now, look, 72 overall compared to Daniels, now 81. He's just a freak. He's done well. Uh, Frederick, he's our everyday dude. We have no backup for him right now. It's Looney, um, which we'll look at him. We may try to see if we can nab him for a cheap contract, but that's another position I'm thinking about right there is the offensive line. We need depth there overall. Okay, so defensively, we're good. Uh, we have Collins doing his thing as the right tackle for us now there. Uh, left end, we're good now here with Marcus Lawrence and company. Uh, Crawford, he's done. We're not bringing him back. Um, so that means Quinn will be our everyday dude after the season's done. Uh, let's see, Tariq Hill. All right, sorry, yeah, he's, he's, he's a star caliber player. Three more years on his contract. We also will have... Uh, Wise coming through with one more year. So these guys are all back for one more year for us there. Uh, Ray, he is done with the Cowboys after this year. So there's some pieces leaving here that we are paying attention to. Uh, but it, it's, it's, a tough chance. it's a tough thing for us because we're trying to decide, do we want to bring some of these dudes back? And right now, I can't justify paying that money for Woods because, again, if we do that for him, look – it's going to drop us down to 30 k available. So we, we want to test out free agency at least a little bit and see what we can get. But look forward to all of that, y'all, in the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and advance through this. We're done with the resign period. All of those guys, gone. Bye-bye. You're not in the Cowboy uniform any longer. And that's fine. So we're down to 52 names now on the roster. Uh, looking at that roster, here's what it looks like now with those names all out of here. So... We're okay all here. Um, we, you know, we, we have these guys having to, having to be key position players backing up right there. Uh, Frederick's backups uh, right there. So it's Martin, you got you got you got practice squad dudes having to back up. So that's why we need to draft some depth there. Uh, defensively, we're good here. We got Crawford. We have Quinn leading the way there for us. To, and then we got Hill followed by Covington. Collins is gonna be starting there. Followed by Wise. Uh, and then Demarcus Lawrence, of course. We'll be right there. Brown still doing his thing there for the Cowboys. Wuzier, uh, Lewis, and of course Byron Jones when he gets back from injury will be our everyday dude. Uh, Woods is still here, followed by Brown, Van Der Esch, uh, Jalen Smith, and Covington now. Of course, Lillard will be there once he's back from his injury. And then Heath and Wilson. So we need depth at linebacker. We need depth at safety. Um, and then we need depth on the offensive line and at tight ends. So that's mainly the real areas, areas we're looking at now getting ready for free agency. So what we're going to do now, y'all, before we close off this episode, so we have $1.38 million available uh, for us in free agency, which, again, that's not much. That's not much for us. So here's some of the big names. You got Kareem Hunt um, leading, leaving. You got Fuller, Ebron. Uh, you got Yannick right there. You got Daniels, Barry, McCourtney, Shazier, Aguilar, Miles Jack, Derrick Henry. Miles Jack's a guy I'd love to go after. But I don't know if we can exactly afford him because look, look at what he's asking for. Okay, so he's asking right now. I don't know what he's even asking for right there. A fair offer. He said five years, $42 million. We can only offer him $7.9 million. So that's not even a, a good deal. So we really can't go after him. So we're really struggling there. Not a lot of money to throw around because this year we had to resign a ton of dudes for Dallas. We had to resign a ton of dudes. So we're going to be relying upon uh, going through here and look, looking at tight ends now. Got to go get the guys for cheap. That's the main thing. We got to go get some dudes for cheap. Um, and they may not be the best out there, but we got to go get, get some guys that are cheap out there that could do a good job for us. Again, like Kyle Rudolph out there. Uh, 30 years old. Ebron would be a great dude to go after, but we probably can't get these guys on very good contracts. Again, $5.8 million is what we'd be able to get after him. Um, it's just not not enough money to throw around. But uh, I wanted I wanted to just mention that, y'all, that no for free agency, we probably won't be able to get any superstars this year because we have them all on our team re-signed with good contracts. So the real thing we're looking at is getting some guys mainly for like just depth position. Just like a backup, possibly. So Heath will be starting. Uh, we're just going to keep pay attention to that. I'll look at it all as I, as I do off camera and try to look at some numbers and stuff and see what we got. But uh, yeah, leave any feedback y'all have for that down below in the comment section. Look forward to the 
off-season episode coming to y'all in just a day or two. Not too far away, I promise. We'll be seeing that. So Sean Lee, look at him. He's the top top dude out there. We didn't re-sign him. Of course, we traded him away. Now he's available again. Uh, the Van Noy, all these guys. So take a look at some of those, y'all, as the top dudes in the key positions we need to get at left outside backer. Strong safety out there. Uh, of course, tight end. And then uh, offensive line, you're looking at center. And you're looking at left tackle as well. So those are some of those names. But thanks so much for watching this post-game show episode for the Super Bowl. Super Bowl champion, Dallas Cowboys. Looking to do some moves here in offseason with uh, maybe a couple key additions in free agency, which we don't have a lot of money to do. But the draft will be where we try to add in some guys that maybe can get some moments. So we'll see what happens. But thanks so much for watching. Y'all have an outstanding day. And I'll see you back here in the offseason video. Y'all take it easy.